Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Amir and today I'm gonna show you my workflow of making this animation. I made this animation for one of my favorite metal bands, Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a deathcore band out of Knoxville, Tennessee formed in 2006 and I had the idea of making a short animation for a small section of their song, The Other Side. Is from their 7th studio album, The Valley. I took a lot of inspiration and reference from the album cover like the color palette and the iconic eye. First and foremost, this is not going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I made every single element in the animation. Although, I will pinpoint some important stuff that had a huge impact on the overall look of the animation. Alright, so I begin with the most important part of starting any new project, storyboarding. I knew that my animation would only have three main parts, so it didn't take much time. After that, I placed together all the things I knew about my project till that point in Milanote. Milanote is a drag and drop web application which really can help you and your team to work on a project and gather everything you want to do in just one place. Of course, this is not a paid sponsorship, I just really like their program. Clouds play a huge role in this animation, so I started with them first. My initial aim was this style of clouds that is a bit cartoonish and looking all happy and dreamy. Right up in here will make a happy little cloud. That you usually see on anime, but it didn't suit at my animation. I saw a very easy tutorial on YouTube that had this very natural and almost realistic clouds that I instantly fell in love with. Making it is very easy. Create a solid layer mask it similar to a cloud shape, set the mask feather to 100, add turbulent displace effect on it, set the amount to 200, size around 40, create an adjustment layer, put turbulent displace on it again, this time amount around 50 but the important step is to set the intensity to 10 to fully shape our cloud. Then hold alt and click on the evolution options and type in the simple expression time asterisk 120. You can go below or above that number but in my case 120 was good enough. And that's it. Then I just click on the 3D switch on my pre-compose and duplicate the clouds and I carefully place them like there is actually distance and depth between them. For the enormous sun in the center, it is just a shape layer with a smooth gradient and roughened edges effect applied to it. What I had in mind was a neutral looking human with no specific style or look. It just had to be very otherworldly, powerful and muscular. Remember the opening sequence of Prometheus, that very gnarly looking but calm alien? That was the look I was trying to achieve. I began searching on Google and really liked these anatomy pictures with muscle tissue on them. So I went to Illustrator and I began the torturous quest of drawing every muscle. With colors, it had to follow the same color palette as the rest of the animation. Otherwise, it would have looked out of place. Halfway through it and I realized it's starting to look a lot like Attack on Titan Giants. So I just changed its base color to mid-tone black. Honestly, if I could go back, I would choose another style and do it a bit differently, but that's okay, you learn and you move on. I'm so depressed, I don't know what I'm doing. For the first part of the animation, our character will only appear as a tiny human ascending between the clouds. But for the second part, he's quite visible. And I had to move his hands slightly up and down to give it more life and character. Also, I needed some glow behind it, so I duplicated our guy and add fill effect to it, making it all orange so the glow would fully reveal itself. It was then I realized the character and its duplicate are not in sync, but it didn't look so wrong or distracted. It actually made it even mysterious. The thing is that this album is partially about the duality of humans and people are disordered so I can safely say that it was a happy accident. There is a climax in the song where it gives you the feeling that great amount of energy and power is bursting out and I wanted to demonstrate that with lasers releasing from the character. But I thought lasers are kinda cheesy and it's been already done so many times. Another thing is that lasers are heavily related to sci-fi and my project wasn't related to sci-fi at all. Then I suddenly remembered an awesome tutorial by Ben Marriott, I actually owe half of the skills I know in motion graphics to this guy, where he teach these very smooth and modern beams. So I transferred the idea to my project by changing a thing or two about it in terms of glow and opacity. It's just some basic shapes moving and by masking the twins of it, I made it coming out of vertical. I basically created the feeling the song gave me. I was so happy how it finally turned out. Now it's time for my favorite part, the giant eye. 
I wanted it to have the same color as the sky when it's still closed, so that when it opens, we do have the element of surprise. I already made room for it between the clouds and the only thing left to do is to make it blink a couple of times. That can be done with keyframing the paths of our shape layer. The pupil has the same style as our sun that I have previously indicated. Finally, I have covered all the elements in my animation. There are just some final touches I did to elevate my work, such as adding texture and adding pressurized time effect to change the frame rate to 12 frames per second so it would have the traditional 3D animation feel to it. Also, I added that soul shake to our composition in order to give the overall environment instability, which I increased it a little bit during the beams bursting out. Alright guys, that's it for my workflow. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did, make sure to tap that like button. It would really help my channel to grow. I will try to post awesome stuff every week so if you really enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. Thank you very much and check you later. Alright, check you later.